You may have been infected with some rather nasty software at some point in the past. Uh, you realize your computer was running slow. Is it a virus? Well, maybe not. But was it an annoying piece of software that kept throwing pop-up windows at you and advertisement after advertisement, just bombardments of uh, just junk? You may have been infected with malware. How did I get the malware? Well, you probably downloaded something you shouldn't have been downloading. It's usually how malware gets onto your system. Back in the day, the only way to get infected with a virus was to, well, to network the computer potentially, but, uh, you know, share floppy disks. And you don't want to touch someone else's floppy disk without washing your hands first. And if you do get infected, it was penicillin, I think, cleared up most computer viruses uh, back in the day. Uh, obviously joking just a little bit there. But uh, malware is still a threat, and it's ever-present. Uh, you know, a question has been asked, well, who makes malware? Am I paranoid or are they after me? Mm, they might be. Depends on what that malware was designed to do. Maybe it was designed to serve up ads. Maybe it was designed to turn your computer into a zombie as a part of a botnet. Uh, could have been designed to be malicious. Uh, could have been designed to track your every move online. Uh, really... Bad software it, it, with bad intentions. Mal intentions. Malware. Not all adware, as it used to be called, is malware because it just be maybe just serving up a, a generic advertisement uh, in the, the the actual program window. You guys still call them programs? They're now apps. Well, uh, we've detailed a story about this. Uh, who makes malware? Uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, conspiracy theorists. Uh, who would suggest that uh, malware, malware developers are hired guns uh, and they are approached by organizations uh, who want to do bad things and who can make a ton of money by doing things that are less than ethical. But they don't want to do it themselves, so they go to the developers and say, here's what we want to do. We want you to create a program that attaches itself to something that looks like an mp3 file and then when the user downloads it from one of those uh you know BitTorrent, uh you know let's say uh well, i wouldn't say you can't really say BitTorrent sites let's just say p2p in general there's some kind of p2p mechanism uh because I, I you know what back in my day p2p was handing them a floppy disk but it's got a jacket on it's clean it's like a condom for the floppy so uh, what could be done from that point is up to whatever the program was designed to do, whatever that malware was designed to do. And it was likely to incur uh, enable you to incur things that should not be happening without the malware installed. Pop-up ads being served, your, your usage habits being tracked, even all the way down to your browser being hijacked so that every web page you visit, it, you'd get a, an additional advertisement served up on the web page. It's just bad stuff, right? And this is usually done because someone else is making money. That's typically why this is done. Someone else is making money. Viruses can be destructive. Malware is annoying, and it's usually because someone is gaining financially from what was done. Uh, the easiest way to keep yourself clean from malware isn't even installing some kind of anti-malware software or some kind of scanner. Even if Nomi's had suggested it here in the chat, I wasn't really watching it there. Uh, my recommendation, uh, don't download stuff. It's really uh, my you know, biggest tip. Uh, or if you do, do it through official app stores uh, like uh, the Amazon App Store for Android apps uh, or potentially the App Store that uh, Apple has, you know, their iTunes cloud thing and cloud thing. It's not really a part of iCloud per se. Your settings kind of are. Uh, or even uh, with the forthcoming Windows 8, uh, Microsoft's App Store. If you go through those official entities, the chances of you uh, downloading anything that uh, could harm your experience will be greatly diminished. Uh, and I know many of you have uh, anti-malware tips to share with the rest of the community. But, uh, you know, it's really interesting to note uh, who can stand to benefit from ruining your experience? That's the real question to ask. Not necessarily how to stop it, uh, but who's doing it?